So today we got trailer numero dos for MLB The Show 21. We got the first one last week and every year in the trailers they showcase some banner new legends that are coming to the game that haven't been in a while. Usually there's like four, five, six new legends that we get in the trailer. That's why we when we got the first one last week, it only showed one. Yeah, it was a fucking banner. It was Roberto Clemente. Dude's a freaking legend and is awesome F in the game. <gasps> but I'm a greedy motherfucker and I always want more. And boys, we got a bunch of awesome new players that are gonna be coming to the game. Like I said, this is the second trailer, Major League Legends in MLB The Show 21. Either way, we only got four new legends in this one, but all four are freaking insane. So we're gonna go through, watch it. I'm gonna give you my reaction to that. And also, obviously, they're not done. There's still three live streams left before the game actually releases. I'm gonna give you my hints of what three players I think will be coming to the game. But anyways, boys, Let's kick back and watch trailer for like the hundredth time. Hundredth time today, I guess. I don't know. It's like freaking Christmas. I'm so fucking excited for this game, bro. Also, this is next gen gameplay. It looks clean, dude. Hammer on Hank. Whew. It's going so fast. How the fuck do you start? I don't get how we were. 12 seconds in before they show freaking Hank Aaron. 12 seconds it took for Hank Aaron. 12 seconds is about what my sex life is, but... Then we got Fernando. That could be a good card. And then, of course, you gotta have the Babe, Raleigh, Tony Gwynn, Shippa, Mo and Ortiz. They were in the trailer last year. Mo kind of sucked, but Big Poppy's dope as shit to have. Dude, next-gen gameplay looks fucking clean. Okay, that's our first look at Roberto Clemente swinging a bat. Dude, I just hope he has a good swing, man. Willie Mays was a dope legend at the end of the game, what, two years ago? I suck with him. <laughs> let's go. The fucking man I'm so excited for, bro. Move aside Hank Aaron, RIP freaking legend, but Prince Fielder, I am so excited. Him and Brawny were my childhood, man. Oh my god, this card's gonna be nasty. But I have no idea who this catcher is. Is this just Mike Piazza? I have no idea who that is. We got Nolan Ryan right there. Alright, Maddox. More Hank Aaron. Hey, hey. Robin Yellen. Showing the brew crew some love. The kid. Okay. I don't think there's any new... Oh, yeah. Just kidding. There's one at the end. There's one at the end. Obviously, pre-order. Before we get into that, just wanna. <laughs> I can't get it. Pre order 420, blaze it. I'm such a fucking child. <sighs> Dude, this trailer was so much better than the first one. So much better. Like, how many freaking. I What was there? Four legends in that the were all banners. You got Hank Aaron, the freaking. You can home run Kane, second all time in home runs, whatever you want to call him. Either way, that card's gonna be nasty. You announce for uh, Fernando, Fernando, Venezuela. He could be a south pitcher, good pitch repertoire. You announce Prince Fielder. Prince Fielder is the youngest player in MLB history to hit 50 home runs. He's gonna have like a insane power. I feel like his swing was good a couple years ago. I felt like a lot of people did good with the 16 card. We'll see how he does in that. And then you got Pedro Martinez. I feel like whenever people talk about legends they want, it's always Pedro, Randy Johnson. And then, especially this year, Hank Aaron. We got two of those three so far, but like I said, we still got three live streams. I don't think we'll get a Randy, but I think we pretty much figured out the collection rewards now. A lot of people thought Roberto Clemente was going to be the, uh, what should we call it? The, uh, like the all team reward or whatever. But I don't know. I felt like that would have been kind of underwhelming. Cool legend, but kind of underwhelming. It's a hundred percent going to be Hank Aaron now. That's going to sell the most. He's going to be absolutely insane. He's going to have 125 everything for hitting probably. So he'll be the collection reward. And then Pedro's probably going to be the AL. And then Anno? Like, I want to say Roberto Clemente, but are they really going to go two outfielders? I don't think so, man. Could it be Prince? Could we be getting a new legend still? I don't know. 
the NL's the one I'm stumped on. I think Pedro for the AL, and then Hank for the all MLB makes a lot of sense. But dude, if it's fucking Prince Fielder, and then Hank Aaron's collection reward, and then Pedro's the AL? Dude, RIP to my fucking bank account. Holy shit, boys. But we still got three live streams left. So let's talk a little bit about what exactly what legends could be dropping. All right, so I'm gonna go over on Twitter here. I'm gonna go to this MLBT card art guy. I saw this post right here. Quick ball, line of scrim using new legends with his war concept. Either way, the thing I know is we got a pitcher, we got a first baseman, and Prince Soriano was announced second base. He obviously got a whole outfield announced. Are they going around the diamond trying to get every single position? You also got Grady too. But if so, there's three streams left. We still need a shortstop, a third baseman, and a catcher. Realistically, it's probably not what it is. I'm a fucking idiot. But either way, we're gonna go based off that concept. I think third base, I think a really cool choice would be Scott Rowland. Dude was a defensive wizard. He also could hit a little bit. Stats wise, he was a good card. I wanna look up his stats quick. I feel like he could be a solid card though, especially with that defense. He would have a very similar like Mike Schmidt style to him. Scott Rowland stats. Cause he had some good power too. 31 home runs in 98. Yeah, he had some 30 home run seasons. Towards the end of the career, obviously what his 30s, he wasn't very good, but he wasn't healthy all the time either. Either way, look at all the gold gloves. Dude, what's a defensive wizard? Do you put him over at third base? I don't know. That could be a solid legend. It would be kind of a part with Grady Sizemore. Not amazing, but still one that people want to see. And then catcher's the one that stumps me. I can't think of a goddamn catcher that is not in the game that I would want. Josh Gibson? Josh Gibson played catcher, didn't he? For the... Back in the days. Back in the day. Josh Gibson stats baseball. Wasn't he a catcher? I can't remember, but I think adding him would be I don't know man. Adding him would be pretty cool. 345? Damn. Dude could freaking hit. Did they not have strikeouts? Interesting. Either way, I think he could be a good one. But I think for shortstop. The obvious choice, this is going to be the one that's announced the day before the game comes out. I'm going Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter is just an obvious choice in this situation. You put Derek Jeter at shortstop, I don't know. But I'm trying to... Josh Gibson, Scott Rowland, Derek Jeter. I think if Randy Johnson was in the game, they would have announced it already. Or they would have announced it with this. They already teased Derek Jeter, so I think he has to be in the game. But either way, boys... That's why I got New Legends announced in the trailer. We got Hank Aaron, the freaking hammering Hank, dude. Oh, I'm so excited for that. We got Prince Fielder, Fatboy Pride, baby. I'm so excited for him. Oh, Pedro, Fernando. Man, taking a look at these legends. We've gotten some really good ones so far. More's gonna come. And then obviously we'll still have the ones from years past. We got Griffey, uh, Babe Ruth. Oh yeah, it was just... I remember seeing a tweet this morning, and it's like, your endgame outfield, you're going to have so many options to choose from. Because you're going to have Clemente, you're going to have Hank, you're going to have freaking Willie Mays, Babe Ruth, Ken Griffey Jr. There's a million outfielders to choose from, and as we get more depth of these legends, those choices are going to be harder. And then there's going to be more variety of teams, and oh boys, I'm fucking excited. If you're excited for MLB Show 21, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'm out. Peace.